Welcome. In this video, I am going to show you how you can create thumbnails and other artwork for YouTube using iOS device. I will show you two different softwares. The first one is what I use to create my thumbnails here on my channel. This software is available for both iPad and Mac OS, also Windows PC. This software is really awesome and powerful, but also costs some money to get. The second software is free. I don't use it personally, but I have tried it out a few times. It's nice and pretty similar to the one that I'm using. It works great on iPhone and iPad, and their webpage says it will come to macOS in the near future. Okay, so the first software that I will show you is the one that I love and use all of the time. It is Affinity Designer. This software is vector based and runs battery smooth on pretty much all devices. It has a ton of features, but don't get scared. You only need to know a few to start making pretty good looking thumbnails. Let me show you. So first you're gonna wanna set up a preset so you can get going quickly. A YouTube thumbnail should have a size of 1280 by 720. Then, I also like to make it an artboard. This feature will let you create multiple thumbnails inside the same project. Okay, awesome. Now, let's start creating. You can make a basic colored background by using the rectangle tool. And then you can make it a little bit nicer by adding a gradient. But most often you might want to just use a picture as your background. It can easily be done by just copying a photo from your photos roll. And then pasting it into affinity just like this. Nice. Now let's position it and add a text. You can pretty much make your text look however you want. And there's a big selection of fonts to choose from. And Affinity also has support for importing any fonts you might want to download from the internet. Now let's finish this one up. There we go. This one will do as a first example. Now, let's use one of my favorite features in Affinity Designer. It is Assets. Assets is a nice way to reuse stuff you made earlier. You can create your own assets and then use them in your projects in order to quickly create stuff like this. You can simply drag and drop stuff from your asset list. Awesome. Now let's make a third one. This one is a Minecraft thumbnail. Though, I don't want this episode to be about this diamond guy. I want it to be about, let's see, maybe, um, yeah, a pig. Nice, looking good. Awesome, guys. So, that's how you can create thumbnails in iOS using Affinity Designer. Now, there's one more thing you need to know, and that is how you save these to a photo. Well, you can simply mark the one you want to export and then in the export settings, you switch to selection with background. That way you will only export the one you selected. You can then save it to your files app and name it whatever you want. There you go. It's now saved. You can upload it to YouTube. The second software that I will show you is a pretty nice alternative. If you are looking for something simple that is free, the name of the software is Vectornator X. Vectornator X is a pretty new vector-based editor available for iPhone and iPad. It will also come to Mac OS in the future, though as it is still new, it has a few bugs and is not as refined as Affinity Designer, but it has a lot of the same features as Affinity Designer, and if you intend to do thumbnails, it won't be any problems. Vectornator X also has a asset feature, just like Affinity Designer, though it's not as refined and a bit annoying to navigate 
as you can't organize your assets very well. Anyway, I won't show too much in this one. The principles for making thumbnails are very much like you just saw in Affinity Designer. And as Vectornator X is free, you can simply try it out on your own. That's it for this video guys. Hope you found this video interesting and if there is anything you want to know or if you know any other nice software feel free to write something in the comments. Until then have a nice day. Bye bye. <laughs>